Oh, well, it was the sigh that's been heard all around the world, turning a young Toronto boy into a bona fide social media sensation. It all happened after our CTV News reporter colleague Scott Lightfoot had a chat with him. Have a listen. If you didn't have a machine to help you move the snow, you probably found it a bit... Tiring. <sighs> a snow day turned into a work day for Carter Trizolo. I really wish I was in school right now. Trizolo was clearing snow around not just his house, but also doing it... For my neighbors, friends, probably people I even don't know. <sighs> <laughs> wow, it never gets old listening to that sigh. And earlier we spoke with Mayor John Tory, and he had a few words to say about Carter. Check it out. He's encapsulated the part where we help each other out because there's a lot of that been going on with the snow and with the virus. But he's also, you know, encapsulated the exasperation. I mean, I'll tell Carter that uh, I have the odd side like that at my desk, except there's nobody recording it for TV. But, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's just looks like one of those good kids that uh, is out there and, you know, keep doing things for other people. And I think it's great. So congratulations to him and uh, tell him not to sigh too much because uh, this soon will be an end. The snow will melt and the pandemic will recede and we'll be back to a more normal life, I think, before we know it. Okay, maybe we need to bring up a side count as the conversation gets underway now. Joining us live this morning, Carter Trizolo, his mother, Rachel's sister, Dylan. They got up extra early to join us here on CB24 Breakfast. We're really glad that you did. And Carter, uh, you're a viral sensation now. How does that feel? Are you kind of aware of the attention you're getting? Yes. <laughs> um, on Tuesday... My mom came down saying, guess how many people saw the clip? And uh, I guess 100,000. And uh, that, that was correct. Yeah. But it's gone up a lot since then. I, I didn't real, the, realize the bar was so high for him, <laughs> for how many people should think he's funny. Yeah. Oh, I cer it certainly put a smile on my face when I, when I saw that report on CTV News. Uh, you know, a sigh is worth a million words, Carter, but I have to ask you, what's more exhausting, shoveling snow or overnight fame? <laughs> Shoveling snow. <laughs> Especially this week. For yeah. him, at least. Okay. <laughs> That's a good answer. Now, when you were shoveling, Carter, you told Scott that you actually wish you were in school. We, you sort of had two extra days off this week uh, based on the snowy yeah. conditions. How excited are you feeling then today that you're actually going to be back in class for the first pretty, time in a month? I'm pretty excited that I get to go back to class and see my friends and see my teacher, because I've only been able to see him online. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to see them. You know, and Carter, we're watching uh, the videos of you shoveling the snow. I got to say, your form is looking excellent. You're going at a pretty fast uh, pace there. So did anyone teach you how to shovel snow, or is this something you've been doing since you were a little kid? Uh, since I was a little kid, I've been shoveling. Well, my grandfather taught me, but yeah, I've been shoveling for a while. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, Rachel, does, does uh, Carter normally sigh this much or is, is this a sort of, uh, is this the pandemic talking or what, what, what are we dealing with here? Uh, it's definitely increased with the, the pandemic, but I think this child was born sighing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, everything is exhausting. <laughs> yeah, Carter, I, I have to ask you, what else uh, makes you feel tired? What else makes you sigh? Um, playing for a long time, COVID. Um, not having COVID, luckily, yeah. Yeah. but mm -hmm. luckily. living with it around. Not fun. Yeah, good clarification. Yeah. So, Dylan, uh, Carter, I'm guessing, uh, you know, what's it like to have a brother who's got this level of fame as well? Has he kind of got a big head around the house? Is he asking you to do things because he's so famous now? <laughs> Yes, he is. <laughs> like what? <laughs> well, like, when he leaves stuff somewhere else and he's far away from me, he, he asks me to go get it, and I'm like, I'm not your servant. And he's like, but who's the one that's famous? Oh, <laughs> oh it's gone to his head. So what are we going to do here? Uh, is that so different from how he was before? <laughs> really? No, but Dylan also made some fan art for Carter yesterday. Oh, okay. nice. <laughs> yeah. Do you happen so, to have it handy? 
Um, it's no good sense days. Sorry. That's okay. It's, mm-hmm. it's a picture of, of Carter and uh, his shovel. Aw, oh, nice. Yeah, the most important things. Yeah. What do you think you might actually do with this, Rachel? I mean, this is kind of an interesting moment. I don't know if it's 15 seconds or 15 minutes or whatever it's going to be here, but it's the sigh, it's the, it's the commentary, it's, you know, everything about your son Carter is just kind of remarkable, and it's, it's really catching on. You know, as the mayor said today, he's really caught on to how the rest of us are feeling. Do you, could you potentially capitalize on this? Uh, no, that's not my intent. Carter will do what he he does in his life. Uh, I won't be surprised if he's famous for a long time, but it won't be because I'm trying to capitalize on yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Very quickly, before we bring in uh, Dr. Bogosh, I got to ask you, Carter, what do you what do you want to be when you grow up? I really don't want to think about it yet. I just want to enjoy my childhood. <laughs> That's a great answer. Okay, mm-hmm. and uh, let's bring in Dr. Isaac Bogosh. We usually have our daily chat with him about this time. And I think he has a few. There he is, Dr. Bogosh. Meet Carter. Hey, Carter. <laughs> How's it going? I, um, okay. I just wanted to say, I mean, listen, we all watched this. This was incredible. And, you know, putting the side aside, you know, you were tired, you were exhausted, but there was a lot of work to be done and you helped out your family, you helped out your friends, you helped out your neighbors and everyone watching that was very proud of you. Congratulations, you did a great deed. And you know what, you made every single person, especially every parent watching very proud. I just wanted to say congratulations and you're a great guy. Thank you. It's gotta feel pretty good, Carter. Well, listen, uh, fantastic to chat with all of you, Carter, Rachel, Dylan. Congratulations, Carter, on uh, sort of encapsulating how we're all feeling. We love the sigh. We love your energy. And uh, we hope you have a great uh, day, both you and Dylan, uh, back in your classroom with your friends uh, again for the first time in about a month now. So thanks for getting up early and joining us on CB24 Breakfast. So great to chat with you. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care. Bye. And of course, (laughs)